You know, after uh, reviewing the game tape, you know, I think, um, you know, it's, it's really the same stuff we've been talking about all year. You know, we, we were really good for a stretch and focused on the right things and went through a stretch that we weren't. And then, uh, you know, we're able to, uh, to get refocused in the last five minutes in the overtime and make the plays we needed to make. Uh, to win, uh, you know, I think it's a continual process for for this team to to learn uh, how you have to prepare and, and 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 not just play during the game, but prepare because you, you know you're only going to get out of the games, uh, you know what you put in, and um, you know, I think it's a continual process. So hopefully it was another learning experience for us. We'd much rather have that uh, after a win uh, than a loss. But you know I think you know you move into uh, a game tomorrow against uh, an extremely talented Kentucky team, and you know really it's the same thing. Uh, you know we've got to. Uh, got to got to put together a uh, you know a focus and, and, and an approach that gives us an opportunity to play well enough to be in position uh, at the end of the game to, to hopefully make some plays and and then win the game and uh, you know Kentucky is a, a much different team than they were last year and, and, and at the same time better at some stuff and and uh, you know uh, ultra talented uh, I think as always and so I think that focus is going to be important and I, and I think you know another thing that we saw from Wednesday's game is just how important our our uh, atmospheres at, at home, and it was uh, terrific on Wednesday. And the crowd was unbelievable, and the Garden Army, especially, was great. And you know, we would expect that to be the case tomorrow. And I think it'll be an important part of the game. Talk about your team's resiliency, especially in the last you know, few minutes of the last two games. I mean, when challenged, you guys have responded. Yeah, you know, we, we we've talked a lot about that. You know, with our guys, and, and ultimately, you know, everything goes back to us trying to build a program. And uh, you know, we we want to be a team that you know, when it gets tough and when things are tight, that. Uh, you know we're going to compete and claw and scratch and, and fight to the final buzzer and and I really think that's all that's happening and then in the process of that you know we're getting some stops we need to get and you know we got guys making some shots and you know, or hitting big free throws or whatever it might be but uh, you know the big thing I think is the approach to that and the, the, the mentality that you want to uh, play with in those situations and I, and I think we're making some some progress in that area. What do you do in practice that prepares them for those late games? One sports? Uh, you know, really, we just try to tell them that, you know, games should be much easier than the practice and, uh, you know, opponents and crowds and whatever should be much easier than dealing with me. I mean, just, you know, uh, we, we, we try to make, uh, put them in as many stressful situations uh, as, as possible and, and help them understand that every play that you make, you know, might be the last play of the game. Uh, and, and you've got to make enough of those along the way to be in a position that hopefully the last one counts. And so, uh, again, that's just part of a, kind of developing an identity and a mentality. Uh, with our team that, uh, you know, I think that uh, everybody's probably trying to do, but I think it's especially important for us because we're young and because, you know, for our program to be successful and for us to be, uh, you know, what we want to be, I think it's going to be a major component of it. You mentioned they're really talented. Can you talk a little bit more specifically about some of the kids like Knight and Jones? What they're doing? Yeah, I just, you know, I think, uh, you know, that they're, they're they're athletically extremely talented. They're quick. You know, they, they were so explosive. Not that they weren't last year, but, you know, just almost powerful. You know, John Ball is such an incredibly explosive, powerful athlete and not that he wasn't incredibly fast too but uh, you know the you know, cousins and Patterson and those guys and, you know even, and even Bledsoe you know just a you know they, they were athletic and fast but they were powerful you know this team is seems like they're even faster a little bit more perimeter oriented they shoot the ball extremely well which is just the opposite uh, of what they had last year but they you know they've still got a guy in Jones that you know individually is, is capable of huge uh, numbers in a variety of different ways and can be a real force around the basket as well. Cal Perry had to apologize, and I guess he got the guy in Jones' face a little bit, and they caught him on the cameras. It seems like he's a little frustrated with his young team. It seems like you might be on the other end of that spectrum. How have you balanced your frustrations with the young team, and, and how have they responded? <laughs> Maybe I'm not showing it uh, as, as much. Um, you know, I mean, again, for, for us, we, we want to make it about um, – playing hard and competing and being a great teammate and all of those things. If that stuff happens, we can fix basketball. Basketball becomes hard to fix if, if you're trying to, to correct all the other stuff or, or do it all the time. And, uh, you know, our, our, our young men, for the most part, have, have done a good job of that. Uh, but, you know, it's a daily reminder and a, and, and a daily process, I think, to continue to understand how important those things are. I, you know, I think Ramon Galloway is a, a great example of that, uh, you know, trying to get them locked into – to being an, an elite defender and a guy that does the little things and brings us toughness, which is what we, we you know, thought we were getting when we recruited him. We weren't getting that earlier in the year. And I think prior to Wednesday night's game, he'd had, uh, you know, a stretch uh, really throughout league play where he had done all those things and, you know, the ball just hadn't gone in for him. We know he could score. Uh, and, uh, you know, Wednesday he did both. And, you know, then he becomes, you know, ultra uh, impactful. 
uh, in the game. And so I think just continuing to, to develop that in our guys is important, but also understanding that, you know, there, there, there's got to be a, a, a certain level of, um, uh, you know, what, what we tell our guys is humility and understanding that, you know, it's a, it's a privilege to play this game, a blessing for us. And, you know, the same team that, uh, you know, pulled out a couple overtime wins, you know, lost on the road at Furman and, and uh, got beat pretty badly, uh, you know, at home uh, against Boston College. And so, uh, you know, just coming out the next day and going back to work, really. Three one against Kentucky, what's the formula? Yeah, there's no formula for that. Is this a game that you circle on the calendar? Now? No. Talk about Malik Cook and his role as a sixth man. He seems to be bringing energy. Had 11 rebounds the other night, five on offense. You know, again, a guy that uh, comes in, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure most times in individual matchups he's shorter, uh, maybe not as athletic as the guy he's going against, but. You know, as you mentioned, you know, 11 points, 11 rebounds the other night, and, and just on you know effort and energy and toughness, and and just a knack for getting that ball. You know, I mean, I've been asked, you know, why is he such a great offensive rebounder, man? I don't know, but he comes up with them, and we're glad that he does. And uh, you know, he, he's another great example of a guy that comes in and impacts the game just because he's committed to doing the right things. And uh, I think the more guys that do that, the, the better uh, your team uh, can be, and then the better chance you give yourselves of winning and, and winning in close games. Darren, obviously the last time they were here was a remarkable night for you guys. Um, how much did that victory and that signature moment kind of last into the offseason with prospects, high school coaches, and things like that? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, I mean, it's, I mean, Kentucky is Kentucky. Uh, they're the lead program in our league, and, you know, I've been a national power for, you know, ever, it seems like. And so, uh, you know, obviously there's, there's credibility and, and, and validation. Uh, when you beat a uh, program like them and when they're, you know, at the time number one and undefeated. And so uh, I think there's there's definite merit in that and that, uh, you know, there's it's something that you can, can point to. But, you know, as, as I said at the time, you know, we hope the highlight of our program is not one win, uh, you know, over a number one uh, team. Uh, you know, we, we, we hope at some point that, you know, people are running around the country talking about, wow, did you see we beat South Carolina when they were number one? And so, um, you know, it, it was a good win. And I think any time you can, beat the premier program in your league, uh, it's definitely a good win, uh, you know, without question. But, uh, you know, for us, it always comes back to, you know, building a program uh, that, you know, uh, gets to a point where, you know, that, that's not a surprise and maybe not as big of a deal as, as it, you know, was then. And, 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 you know, we'll be now. So you haven't gotten President Obama to call Kentucky? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think that happened. If, if we could get somebody to call and, you know, eliminate some of their guys from making the trip, that'd be, that'd be great. You mentioned the Garnet Army in the atmosphere, but the crowd is really good. How important is that for South Carolina? Hey, you know, that's a great question. I think you hear that a lot in sports. Uh, you know, I, I don't really know if it's worth a certain number of points. I just know that you know atmosphere matters. Uh, you know, it does, and our atmosphere is tremendous. And uh, you know, our students are phenomenal. And, and uh, you know, it's just, and, and if nothing else, I think it's more fun for everybody. I think the fans watching it, the people on TV, our players, you know, everybody involved, it just. Uh, you know, it's what makes SEC basketball and the highest level of, of, of athletics, uh, you know, fun. And uh, so, uh, you know, the crowd does have a big, uh, big part of that.